What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, when I first heard about this trade, it, it didn't make any sense to me, you know what I'm saying? From a, a, a personnel standpoint. It made no sense to me. Why would you trade, from a personnel standpoint, it, 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 I said, why would you trade both Patrick Beverly? I, I, I don't know the details. I'm pretty sure there's other things involved in the trade. But I'm just talking about the, the, the three main pieces. Why would you trade Patrick Beverly and Rajon Rondo essentially for Eric Bledsoe? You know, now from the Grizzlies standpoint, standpoint, it makes sense. You know, the Grizzlies are trying to uh, become a better team. So I understand that. But the Clippers, look, I watched the Bucks the last couple of years, man. And I'm going to tell you something. Eric Bledsoe was not a playoff performer, okay? Um, he's very inconsistent. Even through a regular season, Eric Bledsoe is a very inconsistent guy. One night, he might get you 27 points. Next night, he might get you 18. Next night, he might get you 19. But then guess what? He's going to have two games in a row where he only scores eight or six points. You know, then he might have a game where he scores 13, 15 next. Then he might have a 20-point game. Then he might score eight. That's, that's Eric Bledsoe, and he's not a good three-point shooter. So <clears throat> the only thing I can think of with the Clippers It has to be a financial thing, partially. Um, you know what I'm saying? It has to be partially financial. And also, I think people really have to look at the politics side of this thing. <clears throat> what what uh, Patrick Beverly did in the playoffs you know, as far as pushing Chris Paul, that looked bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was very unsportsmanlike. And I understand that people do things, you know what I'm saying, at the heat of the moment. But that, that shit was petty and childish. And it and it and it, when I and to be honest with you, when I think of Patrick Beverly, I keep thinking of that play. So I don't know whether that has something to do with it because you know people may not just like this guy's attitude. I don't know whether he's being scapegoated or, or blackballed or whatever or whiteballed because I just saw he got traded again. I before I before I record this video, I saw Patrick Beverly just got traded from the Grizzlies to the Timberwolves. So this guy has gone from a, a, a team that was contending for a title to a team that was preparing to, you know, build up to become a playoff caliber team that make a deeper run to now a perennial doormat with the Timberwolves. So this guy's basketball world has been shaken to the core in the last 48, 72 hours. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Another angle could be, and shout out to Ticket TV, I think he said this as well, this might have Kawhi Leonard written all over there. You know what I'm saying? Rondo's a guy, as we all know, that speaks his mind. Patrick Beverly is a guy that speaks his mind. They may have said something about the coddling that this guy gets, you know? Missing practices, practice when he wants to, play when he wants to, uh, pretty much. Uh, not being with his teammates uh, during the playoffs. Uh, I think he has his own. Isn't this a guy that wanted his own personal flight and plane, and you know all these different diva-like things? And if you're a Rondo, you're like, bro, like I'm probably gonna be in the Hall of Fame myself. You know, I played with Garnett and Pierce and these guys, man. You, you ain't nobody to me. You know what I'm saying? Like when Rondo was was still an All-Star level player, 
Kawhi Leonard was a role player. So Rondo's probably not enthralled with this guy like that. And Pat's a guy that don't back down, so that's a very definite possibility. Because Kawhi Leonard is a fucking uh, prima donna motherfucker. So I can see him saying something about that. Um, but this move from a basketball standpoint, the only thing I can think of, man, if they're getting rid of these guys, <clears throat> somebody's getting promoted. Okay? Um, somebody's getting promoted. I don't. I wouldn't be surprised if Bledsoe gets traded or something, but somebody like Terrence Mann, who looked phenomenal in the playoffs last year, this is a guy that's probably going to get more minutes. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they're finished with as far as making roster overhaul, overalls. You know what I'm saying? Overhaul. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out like everybody else. From a, from a personnel standpoint, the trade makes no sense. So it has to be partially financial and, you know, maybe it's a little bit of Kawhi payback, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe he just don't want those guys on the team. You know, Rondo is getting older, so that's pretty much all I got to say, man. Tell me what you guys think.